tw a little after 12 on Thursday, uh, September 23rd. Today is Long Beach Gives Day. So today is actually the day. So you could give before, which is what we've been doing. Uh, thank you for, for everyone who's been supporting us and being part of these programs. Um, today, however, is allocated as the day of giving, 24 hours of giving to nonprofits in the Long Beach area that serve both Long Beach as well as you know beyond Long Beach. So this is part of that, uh, this week long uh, initiative of, of programs per the SCIC. So we've had what, tw Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so three, nine, 10, 10, 11, 10 programs thus far. So we've had meditation, we've had scriptural, uh, reflection, Quranic scriptural reflection. We had Native American spirituality uh, practices this morning. We had a concert. We had spoken word. We cooked with the uh, canter. We cooked with Rini. We, my goodness, what else did we do? We had a, a session about um, the role faith plays in, in having effective relationships and handling difficult situations. Um, and today is what I think the funnest of all. Is that a word? I'm not sure. But we are all about dinosaurs today. And why are we all about <laughs> dinosaurs today? How is this even applicable, right? But it it's is not. Something, it, but it brings us joy. And it's yes. that joy that we want to share. Um, I want to welcome Sardine as well. Um, she's our executive committee member right there. Hello, Sarah. Uh, how are you? I am. This is been the moment I've been waiting for all week long <laughs> and I can't wait to hear a little bit from Cheryl. I hope we can um, share a little bit about her love for dinosaurs and why how they came to the because they did this last year yeah. but Cheryl and her team did something a little bit different this year and I'd love to hear how that how the idea came about and and execution aspect of it too. Yes. <laughs> So how, how should we do this, Cheryl? What, what, we'll take your lead. Do we want to show the video first and then you kind of talk about it? Or do you want to talk a little bit about it and then show the video? What's your preference? Well, I'll give a, I'll just give a little intro into, Perfect. you know, how we got about, how we Wait. got into dinosaurs in the first place. Okay, Perfect. before we do the dinosaurs, Cheryl, can you for a moment just, this is also a really great moment to celebrate Cheryl and oh, all yes. she does for the South Coast. Yes, yes, yes. She honestly is one of our greatest gifts. Um, she's she overqualified is. for the role. Way, way too generous to us. Um, incredibly talented woman who came to us from like the corporate world. And I remember, I still remember Cheryl's interview day where she talked about wanting to do something uh, meaningful with her time. Um, so Cheryl, if maybe you can quickly share a little bit about your faith background, because I always love hearing that story about how you found your way to your church. Yeah. And then how that church somehow led you to dinosaurs. How did the dinosaurs thing come about? And hey, we, we also have Blaze with us today as well, which is Cheryl's yes. husband, who is equally as cool of a person, obviously yes, having been married. You know, he married <laughs> Cheryl, better. so clearly. So uh, he's here as well. So we're so happy. And Laura, I know Laura, I see a Laura. Here Laura's my cousin. So oh, Laura. Nice oh, my cousin. cousin. <laughs> Any cousin of Cheryl's is a cousin of ours, whether you like it or not. So Laura, we're family. So there yeah. you go. Well, thank I you. would also, uh, one more thing about this incredible family. Blaze is also our participant and member of our Justice and Peace Committee too. So maybe Blaze can also take a moment to introduce himself and his faith story and or what and what draws him to that committee specifically. Hey. Sure. I just want to clarify if if a cousin of Cheryl's is a cousin of SCIC, does that make me a husband of SCIC as well? <laughs> I don't know how it works. I mean, okay. my, I know, I know, my husband would be very happy to share his to-do list. So, if that's <laughs> the case, uh, Blaze, expect a list coming from me. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> no, um, no, just uh, join the uh, environmental justice uh, uh, committee and and uh, doing other things. Mostly, you know, Cheryl's just an inspiration, right? So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, she's joined the SCIC and uh, just the, the wonderful things that the SCIC does uh, for the community, uh, bringing people together, especially in these times when it's become much more divisive uh, in our nation, our world. 
it's it's a great uh, organization and great uh, great to see what SCI brings to the table. Cheryl has just been uh, passionate about uh, SCIC and what uh, what you stand for, what we can do, and uh, you know, environmental justice is really something that uh, calls to me. And so it's uh, it's been great to be uh, more involved and, and part of uh, the SCIC community, uh, if you will. Blaze, how long have you guys been married? Uh, 22 years, but Good job. Counting. <laughs> <laughs> that's a long time. That's a long, <laughs> a long time. Yes. Yes. So, so dinosaur costumes and other craziness, uh, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't affect me as much these days, uh, <laughs> bungee jumping and skydiving and many other crazy things that, uh, this, this girl likes to do. So yeah. 22 years of that, but that is why also I don't have that much hair on top of my head. <laughs> Can I you, Cheryl, I think you've shared a little, little bit before that your own family has, you have mixed faith background in your family, right? Oh, yes. I'm a convert to my church. And uh, yep, there's, there's all, and Blaze was uh, brought up Hindu, um, um, but he's not really practicing that anymore. And he has his own uh, various faith uh, beliefs. And um, I tried to, uh, uh, set him up with pastor steve wilson because right. i think we talked about this yeah because yeah, i thought he would i think blaze would actually enjoy uh the unitarian church i think that would be uh something that would fit him and and uh he and pastor blaze and pastor steve have similar personalities the dry sense of humor and everything so <laughs> And I do want to get to the dinosaurs. I'm going to ask one question, Cheryl, and you can answer it as deeply or as quickly as you'd like. Um, I was recently speaking to a young woman who um, has met someone that she cares deeply about. Um, and this person is someone she wants to spend the rest of her life with, but they're not from the faith, same faith community or the same faith tradition. Uh -huh. So she was asking me if I could set her up with a couple who has navigated that terrain um if you had a moment to talk with her it, are there like one or two things that you would i don't know would you is there words of hope or inspiration or direction that you could offer such a person well uh, yes ab absolutely i um listened to a uh, podcast earlier this week that was um uh very interface it was from my church the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints but it was uh, very interfaith in its um, uh, in its message, um, and it talked about a compass and not not a directional compass, but one of those compasses you use in um, you know math class to draw circles and things like that. And it was um, you know it talked about the you have your your firm firm foot in your religion, but the the you know, your swinging foot, the, the further you step it out, um, you, you get to draw a larger circle. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you, that you lose any, you know, anything from your, your, your firm foot. Um, you just get to grow. And, and through this interfaith work, I have seen, um, I have actually seen a, a grown a deeper appreciation for my own faith through the things that I've learned through other pe people expressing their faith. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we have a similar concept that I hadn't really appreciated without hearing it from somebody else's, else's perspective. So anyways, that's, that's my take on it. Thank you, Cheryl. What lovely imagery. I that love is. that, that your circle has just grown bigger. Yeah. And you, you still remain centered and rooted in your faith. And we're so glad that you two found each other. Yeah. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> On antics, let's go ahead and get into the dinosaurs. Yes. Cheryl, share yes. that with us. Well, let's so dinos. So Blaze started me on my dino addiction. I've oh. always, I've always loved uh, if people I've always loved videos of people in inflatable dinosaur costumes. I think somebody could just be walking down the street to mail a letter in the <laughs> mailbox and it's hilarious. And I've, I've just always loved it, but I've, I'd never, you know, acted on it. And then a couple Christmases ago, um, Blaze and our girls got me an inflatable 
dinosaur costume for Christmas. And I didn't even ask for it. And it was like the best Christmas present ever. And I loved it so much that I went out and got dinosaur costumes for everybody else in the family. And, and now they have to, you know, um, put up with my dino video requests. My first one was that first Mother's Day after, uh, after Christmas, I, I wanted to make a, uh, a Mother's Day dinosaur video. That was that was what we did for my Mother's Day. And and now with uh, uh, SCIC and Long Beach Gives last year, we, you know, I was like, well, how can you incorporate inflatable dinosaur costumes into the interfaith <laughs> community? And we try to create communities of compassion among people of different faiths and cultures. Mm -hmm. And so last year I thought, well, we can do something cultural. And so we um, put together a um dances awesome <laughs> and uh, demonstrated those throughout the day of long beach gifts um and so well we already did dances so i was like well what can we do uh this year to celebrate long beach gifts and i thought you know we're so grateful to be yeah. chosen as participants in uh, yeah. for the Long Beach Gives program and so grateful for the city of Long Beach for, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, hosting something like this. And yeah. um, I was born in the city of Long Beach and I live adjacent to the city of Long Beach now. And um, there's just so much I've always loved about Long Beach anyway. And this was an opportunity to, to um, showcase Long Beach and how much we love it. So I'll go mm -hmm. ahead and just start the video and we'll can well, rejoin. While you do that, I'm going to ask Blaze a question. Blaze, do you have any regrets about <laughs> handing over that first dino costume? No regrets, but it is the gift <laughs> that keeps on giving. So, uh, as Cheryl said, it was one dino costume, now, now it's six, six, and uh, dances but, and all sorts of other hey, activities uh, around it. Hey, but, Blaze, uh, yeah. You know that Cheryl also gave uh, Zahra a dinosaur costume. Is she, is she still a little too small for it? But for her, I think, was it for her birthday, Cheryl? Yeah, her two-year birthday. Her yeah. two-year-old birthday. It's a little cute, little yeah. inflatable dinosaur. It's so cute. Yeah. So we'll um, be joining. <laughs> we're going to be grandparents in, into in, it. In, a, in a few weeks. Our very first grandchild. We're so excited. And oh, um, yeah. so... Uh, our little grand grandson is going to have his own dino costume Aww. soon enough. <laughs> he will join the ranks of the dino family. <laughs> Yay! So, okay, I'm going to play the video now. Yes. Long Beach is an amazing city. There's something for everyone here. Three years ago, this great city decided to help the nonprofits that make Long Beach what it is and Long Beach Gives was created. The South Coast Interfaith Council is grateful for being selected to participate in it. And the South Coast Interfaith Council has an office admin who loves inflatable dinosaur <laughs> costumes. So please enjoy this paleontological tribute to some of Long Beach's wonderful landmarks. Let's start the day with some invigorating yoga at Bluff Park.
El Dorado Regional Park is a remarkable asset to Long Beach. It sits in a flood zone and it protects residents from spillover from the neighboring San Gabriel River. The varied topography comes from soil removed to construct the San Gabriel Freeway. The park consists of El Dorado West Regional Park, El Dorado East Regional Park, and the Nature Center, consisting in total of almost 900 acres. The park amenities include disc golf course, outdoor archery range, baseball field, basketball court, community center, cross country running, physical fitness course, barbecue and picnic areas, playgrounds, roller hockey, skate park, soccer fields, tennis court, volleyball court, fishing lakes, an airfield for remote control planes, and a radio controlled model sailboat area, pedal boats for rent, a children's train, and a 100-acre nature center. This park has it all and is a great treasure for all who enjoy its services, including a family of dinosaurs who just want to feed the ducks. But those ducks find no interest, so the dinos resort to the next best thing, fighting among themselves. Hope you enjoy it! These dinos have certainly worked up an appetite. Let's have a picnic at the lighthouse overlooking Rainbow Harbor. Ready for a dance party with the Queen Mary. <laughs> Let's finish our day at the prestigious Cal State University Long Beach campus. The college was established in 1949. It originally offered 25 courses taught by 13 faculty members in two apartment buildings on Anaheim Road. Cal State Long Beach now offers 82 different bachelor's degrees, 65 types of master's degrees, and four doctoral degrees. Money Magazine's 2020 college rankings saw it ranked in the top 1% of the best public colleges. The campus is built on an ancient Tongva village burial and burial site known as Puvanga, and it is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Each March since 1970, the university has hosted the largest powwow in Southern California. Among the notable alumni of Long Beach are Long Beach Mayor Robert Garcia, award-winning director Steven Spielberg, legendary comedian Steve Martin, and the acclaimed Karen and Richard Carpenter of the Carpenters fame, among many others. The South Coast Interfaith Council hopes you've enjoyed our paleontological journey through the wonderful city of Long Beach. Thank you, Long Beach Gives. Awesome, guys. Oh my what a, goodness. What a, what a gift to the city of Long Beach. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, Cheryl, I'm going to share this with Nico and, we're, and we should share it with the, uh, with the, with Mayor Garcia as well. I mean, this is like, this is amazing. Seriously. I did send it to Nico. Uh, yeah. 
This she did share it. I, I shared it with her a couple of days ago and she shared it on the Long Beach Gives website. Awesome. Uh, Cheryl, yeah. Cheryl, how did you pick the sites? How did you make those choices? I, I mean, yes, because there's so much great yeah. stuff, you know, but, the, but we also had to come up with activities to do because like I would have liked to have uh, highlighted the aquarium and, you know, there's so many other wonderful places, but they're when we scoped it out, there really just wasn't like a, a, an activity we could do in front of the aquarium. And, and then they all also have, you know, lines of people and you have to be careful about uh, um, photographing people without their permission and things like that. So, uh, but with the dino costumes, you're actually socially distanced too. You've got your- That's right. <laughs> I'm getting mask mandate. Dino- yeah, I guess the dino costumes wouldn't do well in an aquarium tank, right? They, that probably wouldn't work. So we're going to have the fish is something you can't do. Well, we wanted to play in the ocean, but they do have like a battery pack to keep them inflated. Inflated. And so we could, you know, you can't get them wet. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. And how did, how did the public, there must have been other people around. What, kind of, what kinds of reactions do you guys receive? Everybody loves dino costumes. <laughs> how could you not love dino costumes? Every time, not just this time, but every time we've ever been out in public. I mean... We, we did this after, um, I don't know, there was, there was some uh, some event at my daughter's house and she has a park across the street and we oh, all yeah. tried on our dinos costumes. And I mean, we were like superheroes to those kids. They were, you Aww. know, yeah, they were, you know, and they were coming up and shaking our hands like, thank you for coming. It was just the cutest Aww. thing. So Aww. everybody loves dino costumes. And then, you know, so... Um, not in dino costumes. I've done the yoga at Bluff Park um, before. And so we thought, oh, well, that'll be a great place to do, uh, you know, yoga. But then they have this mobile pole dancing class that you just <laughs> never know what you're going to come across. So why not? Okay. <laughs> that was the best. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what did they say? They probably loved you guys being. Oh, yeah. It. No, I think. I think we're on their website. I think their <laughs> website is like twerk and booty or something like that. <laughs> but oh, Blaze, Blaze, I really want to ask Blaze about his experience doing, now I'm guessing it's not downward dog, but downward dino. Um, what was, what was it like holding that position? Cause it looks like you guys held it for a while. And then also pole dancing. Was this your first experience pole dancing Blaze? And please do share a reflection. Uh, yes uh so downward dog uh was was a bit challenging but uh you know uh, very enlightening very relaxing and then uh, pole dancing uh really it i think it just kind of uh, came naturally i think when you're in a dino costume pole dancing just fits uh, <laughs> so it just it just worked out um, so i have a feeling this weekend we might be going to la brea tar pits we might make it a lot of money uh, uh, there. Just uh, I think the new new TV show is coming out, so they're very flexible and versatile to uh, to work with. And uh... <laughs> how's this with a straight face, Cheryl? I, I mean, know. Isn't he hilarious? Was he great with Pastor Steve? Don't you think he, he would, would just? Be. I don't know. He would be. The rest <laughs> of us would be utterly confused because we couldn't decipher. Like, are they joking? Are they? You know. <laughs> Absolutely. So when you when you first mentioned that there was a pole dancing element, we were like, uh, hmm. And then <laughs> you share, and I've heard this from some other folks who've tried out pole dancing. You you shared how it can be very affirming, um, and the environment is really positive and and like you were surprised. They're such I, amazing athletes. Oh my uh, goodness! Well, it's yeah. core strength. I mean, think about it. It's oh, all it's so hard. You know? Yeah. Yeah, there's just like there's the, the yeah. It takes a lot of skills to do that. Yeah, especially I've with never... the short little arms. That's <laughs> <laughs> <I do. laughs> Oh my goodness! But really, if you think about it, I mean, think about the joy that you spread, and that's really what it's about. You know, not just the joy, not just the joy that you like find yourself, but clearly that's also like you know trickle down to everyone that sees you and and witnesses, and I think that's so important, right? Especially especially in today's world. I mean, there's so much craziness that goes on, a bad craziness. And sometimes it's just nice to just have just pure joy, you know, that brings you just happiness. Sorry? A little little good crazy. A little good crazy, you know, where it's just because I think, and, and, you know, and, and, and we see that like, you know, some of like when we all get together, like, you know, some days it's just like, 
I mean, there's a lot of hard issues that we sometimes deal with, right? Like, okay, how is the faith community going to respond to this or that? And, and sometimes it's just nice to just be amongst people and just be silly. And, and, you know, it's important. And it, it, I feel like today is like a day of reminders, like, you know, uh, Chief Ramos in the morning, <clears throat> kind of like he reminded us that you know you need time for yourself right and you need to like just stop and we did this meditation and I mean I was joking and I was t telling Cheryl and uh and Sarah like I was afraid that part of it I was gonna fall asleep because I'm I'm so tired right but why am I so tired because it's just like you keep on going you know there's always something to do something to do and you're just like it's just you just go 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 and then you have that moment to where you just like stop and you're like wow, <laughs> you know, but, but it's so important to the soul. And, you know, that's what Chief Ramos was saying. And, and I think Cheryl and Blaze and, and, and the dinos also remind us just, just that I think sometimes you just need to just sit back, relax, and just enjoy, you know, yeah. and, and yeah. that provides that. It's also the power of play, right? Uh, did mm. anyone here watch that TV show, The Game, or the movie? It was a film. You guys haven't watched The Game? Okay. Is that I Michael Douglas? No. Is it recent? Okay. I think it's called The Game. It's from this uh, year. Well, oh. I saw the airplane, but it's about this group of friends who decides that they're, they're not going to stop playing even as adults. Oh, and so okay. they have this childhood game that they continue through adulthood. And so oh, I, mean, wow. I just realized that that's what you're doing essentially, right? Playing and that, yeah. uh, and I'm sure there's some neurotransmitter action happening that leads to feelings of, you know, good feelings and, and uh, recovery. That's Awesome. I didn't realize there were so many famous people who went to CSU Long Beach. Oh, there's a ton more. I just listed a few. Steven so. Spielberg, you said that, right? Steven yeah. Spielberg. And then who were the other two? Uh, Steve Martin. Steve and, Martin. Uh, the mayor of Long Beach. The mayor of Long Beach. Garcia. Yeah. And Cheryl was the president of the Steve Martin fan club. No, when she was <laughs> not the president, but I was a member of his fan club when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> good for you Cheryl enjoy, <laughs> share the joy why not yeah why not Cheryl do tell us about the other so you blaze is here which which are you Cheryl were you the dino that was the yoga instructor is that you no that was my sister-in-law uh so um first of all I've got one daughter you know that's pregnant so she mm -hmm. she didn't want to be in a dino costume she's <laughs> like it's too hot and so she was our camera person. And then um, we we have a, a daughter and her uh, boyfriend that live in Iowa at the moment, but they're fortunately moving back. So uh, oh, yay. yes, so yay. They, but they weren't able to occupy their um, their dino costumes. And so I was like, well, who can I ask? And um, I asked two sister in laws and a niece and they were like they jumped on it it wasn't oh. like you know it was I didn't like have a long list of people although my cousin Laura would have totally been rocking a dino costume <laughs> <laughs> so can you share the names of the people that we should thank so who are our fellow dinos here There's okay Cheryl, so there Blaze. was Blaze mm -hmm. and our son-in-law Joe and then my sister-in-law uh, Diana and mm -hmm. other sister-in-law Sharon and uh, my niece uh, Fallon. Fallon. Oh, yay! Thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. What time? Okay, so we do have to be constant at the time. So, I mean, I think you know, I always think about like, okay, what can we do? Like, how does this tie in? But you know, sometimes, like I said, you just want to laugh. And this is a good session to just sit, relax. And it was the one session that I was like, you know, I'm just going to sit there and I'm just going to laugh. And that's exactly what I did. And we have you to thank for that. And that's a big, big thing. So thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Blaze. Cousin Laura, I hope we'll see each other soon at a dinner. Please don't, or you know. Or a dino event. Or a dino <laughs> event. You know, I don't, we, we love, Sarah and I love food. And so we're, you know, we welcome ourselves, even if we may not be welcomed. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we're family, you know. Yeah, so. cousins party. We'll have you over for the cousins party. Yay! Laura, <laughs> did you want to? Laura, did you want to say hello and and oh. tell us where you're from? Pop yeah, just, in. just hi. I live in uh, I live in Long Beach. So oh, all those loud, yeah. Yay! And uh, it was just wonderful to see um, Cheryl and Blaze celebrated here, and good to see you guys. And and 
watch the crazy dino stuff and i am a hundred percent convinced that cheryl will get me in a dino costume <laughs> before yeah <laughs> sure. is so, laura is amazing She's the president of the Long Beach Storytellers Association. Oh, wow. And she puts on these amazing That's storytelling amazing. events at, at El Dorado Park and uh, has a huge circuit of storytellers that are just so much fun. And she's oh. kept us going through this Zoom. We've had online storytelling events. It's been amazing. Laura, so, that's I'm so sorry. awesome. I, I'm so sorry. I see Zahra in the back. <laughs> yeah. to get her attention and then going back and then trying again. It's so cute. Laura, <laughs> we're so grateful to have you here. So do you have a favorite Long Beach uh, uh, landmark or, or spot? What's your favorite Long Beach spot? Do you oh, have gosh. Um, I don't know. I do love El Dorado. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's yeah, amazing. although I did graduate from Cal State Long Beach, I did as did all three of our kids. So, oh, wow. there you go. Yeah. But all right, well, I have to go. But it was really yeah. nice to meet you guys. Great to see what you guys did. Thanks for the invite. And thank, thank you, Laura. Laura. Thanks thank to you, Laura. Laura. I guess we should. It's twelve thirty-six. We should probably wrap it up as well. Yeah. Yeah. But Cheryl, any any oh, you know, Cheryl mentioned that. Um, her, she she will be a grandmother soon and she's going to be just the most amazing grandmother in the whole world and so will blaze be the most amazing grandfather in the whole world and we're so so happy and equally so so sad because cheryl is going to leave us no and become a full-time grandma which as someone who recently had a baby or i guess it's been two years now but she's going to take care of of a baby boy um, while her daughter goes back to work, which is so important. And uh, like I said, having gone through that her first year, Zahra's first year of life, I, and so I know that's just... Okay, Mama. So amazing. So I know she's like, hello. Um, but, you know... But we, uh, but we hope, uh, you know, just because you leave us doesn't mean that you leave the ICAC. You'll no. always be in our family. Yeah. So we'll see definitely more of you. But um, any words that you would like to share before we conclude this afternoon? Oh, I'm so grateful to be part of the South Coast Interfaith Council. And uh, it's an amazing organization. I love everybody that I associate with. It's just such a blessing in my life. And um, and I hope that everybody donates to Long Beach Gives on behalf of South Coast Interfaith Council. <laughs> Absolutely. And okay, well, we'll go upstairs. Sorry, is there, Bla Blaze, is there any concluding remarks that you would like to say? No, it's just uh, uh, just what Cheryl just echoes. Uh, I'll just echo what Cheryl said. It's just uh, SCIC is an amazing organization. I hope uh, we get a great number of donations and just thank you for allowing us to be a part of this. Uh, this great organization and everything we stand for. Oh my goodness, it was our honor. It was nothing short of our honor, truly. And Sarah, how about you? How what I can I can see Zahra needs you, so I'm gonna help you out here. I hope <laughs> as Cheryl mentioned that you will all consider um, checking out our Long Beach Gives page. Um, all of our board members and community members, some of them have their own uh, fundraising pages. So you can look for your SCIC friend and donate through their page. I think we have a general page as well. Every single dollar really, really helps us. Um, and it also inspires other people to give. And if you can't give today, you can share. So please do consider sharing our page, sharing our content with your friends and family. We still have another opportunity to spend time together today at 7 p.m. We will have our um, usual uh, monthly program, Religion 101. Uh, this program is a collaboration between the Church of Jesus Christ and Latter-day Saints and the South Coast Interfaith Council. One of our wonderful board members, James Light, uh, stewards this program. So every month, uh, the third Thursday of the month, specifically fourth, fourth, fourth. Oh, sorry, fourth Thursday of every month, we hold Religion 101. It's via Zoom these days, which has kind of worked out well. So we highlight um, a faith tradition, the first half of the program, uh, we invite a uh, member from that community. It does not have to be clergy or even a leader, um, but somebody shares uh, how, how they express their faith 
faith in their daily life, what their beliefs are and practices and, and community structure are like. And then the second half is usually time to ask questions and be curious. Um, so tonight we will be featuring the Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. Um, and the link can be found on our Facebook page, www, oh, sorry, I'm giving you the website, www.scinterfaith.org. Tomorrow, we still have two more opportunities to connect. Um, we've been beginning every morning, 9 a.m. with a meditation practice. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., it will be spirituality through meditation with the Buddhist faith. And I'm just going to say this. It is so deeply moving um, how we put these calls out to all of our SCIC uh, community partners uh, asking, hey, we're looking for someone to lead a meditation. And so many of you responded so lovingly and generously. Um, and, and, it, and that's what keeps us going going that love and those relationships. So again, if you want to start kick off your day, your Friday with some uh, reflection and meditation, join us at 9 a.m. Um, with the Buddhist community. And then at lunchtime, we're going to rewind and recap. The SCIC board members and our staff will be coming together just to reflect on all, all that we've shared, um, the, the good laughs we've had, the, the reflections that we've shared together. Um, we're gonna reflect on our Long Beach Gives experience this year. So we hope that you will consider joining us. Again, if you go to our webpage, you'll find the Long Beach Gives link with all of the registration information. Um, Cheryl, did I leave anything out? Wait, Cheryl, what would we do without Cheryl? <laughs> no, you did a great job. We're gonna cry for the, we're, we're gonna cry for a while and then yes. I, I wanna say, I just looked at the our total. So our goal is 25,000 and we're actually just at, uh, which is great and, and please continue to support. Uh, it, it's like going up as I speak, which is wonderful. It's it, we're at eighteen thousand six hundred and eighty-one dollars with one hundred and eight donors. So thank you so much for everyone that's supporting us and 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 those who any amount truly it means the world to us. And if you can't, like Sara said, share the campaign. That will be amazing in itself. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Sorry, Sarah, I'm going to mute myself again because otherwise you'll hear some other music. <laughs> Thank you so much to Cheryl and Blaze and all the entire Dino family, the Dino videographer. That was absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to share it on our uh, YouTube page. I hope the Long Beach community appreciates and enjoys it and considers joining our family. Thank you to everyone. Have a great afternoon. Peace and blessings on everyone. Bye.